Hi, I'm Michael Gordon. The latest labour market figures cap off what's been an extraordinary period for the New Zealand economy. A few months back, we came to the conclusion that the greater risk for inflation now is hot demand, more so than the stories of cost pressures that we hear about frequently. But even then, we've struggled to really keep pace with just how strong that demand has been. In those last few months, we've had a whopper GDP number, we've had a sharp rise in inflation, much of which has been driven by homegrown price pressures, and now we've had the labour market surveys for the September quarter. The unemployment rate has dropped to 3.4%, that's equaling the record low that we reached in 2007. The number of people in work was up 2% in the quarter alone, and more than 4% in the last year. That's an extraordinary pace at a time when population growth has been quite muted. And if you dig into it further, a lot of the drop in unemployment was among the longer term unemployed, and the labour force participation rate has jumped back to its all time high. What that means is that people who have been out of the workforce for some time are being drawn back in to meet that demand for workers. Now for individual workers and businesses, Strong demand won't seem like a problem, in fact it's great, but at a macro level, when demand outstrips our capacity to meet it, the net pressure gets channeled into prices, and that's a recipe for sustained inflation. So we think the Reserve Bank is going to have to do more from here. We're now expecting the cash rate to reach a peak of 3% by the middle of 2023. Now while other forecasters are talking about a peak of more like 2% or so, Financial markets are already baking in something closer to our view, so that's already reflected in the sharp rise in mortgage and deposit rates that we've seen in recent weeks. What we're suggesting is that that move hasn't been overdone, and if anything, could go a bit further from here. And in the coming months, we should see that make a real difference to the momentum in the housing market. Talk to you next week.